Drive is a self-driving uh, company. Uh, we started uh, 10 years ago, and what we do is we provide uh, software that allows um, vehicles of our, of our customer's choice to be uh, driven uh, without a driver. Um, but for now, of course, we have, a, we have to have a uh, test driver just to make sure everything is okay, but ultimately uh, the driver will be removed. We are focused on uh, using our technology in any commercial uh, vehicle. So anything that is not a passenger vehicle. And uh, there is already a lot of automation happening along the logistics, this, along the logistics chain. So there are a lot of uh, robots using in inside warehouses. There is a lot of, in your luggage handling, a lot of uh, auto automated um, routing. All this is happening, but as soon as any of these hit the asphalt, everything becomes manual. So we think it's, uh, it's uh, uh, just a natural next step to have automation also on the asphalt. We are now in the autonomous mode. So we're going to take the right turn here. These cars are seeing far, far, you know, much further out than people are seeing because of the sensors we have. So, and they're seeing it in all 360 directions. So there are a lot more uh, information available to autonomous vehicle than a regular person driving a car. And uh, we have been using this data so far to um, train our AI and uh, neural network to uh, behave like humans, human drivers. So uh, most people that see our car drive by uh, cannot be, would not be able to tell whether we are actually in a manual mode or in autonomous mode. So this, this is our goal and this is what we're moving forward. We have a lot of uh, autonomous uh, movement today. I mean, there's a lot of uh, driverless trains, there's uh, planes. People take time to uh, get used to new things all the time. Um, and they don't have to behave any differently than they do with a regular car. So it just takes time to get used to it. Yeah.